What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing great today. Today I wanted to take a little bit of time and start talking about my bow hunting setup for this coming year and kind of the same setup that I've been using the past couple of years. Been getting a few questions, you know, with deer season getting close here. Uh, we're a couple months away and uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting pretty excited. Uh, this is a 365 day a year sport, but Anytime we're getting you know closer and closer to season, it just gets more and more exciting. So I'm going to go in here today and just talk a little bit about what quiver that I've been running the last couple of years and will continue to run after I finally made the leap to purchase one of these tight spot quivers. It's kind of like a Ford versus Chevy debate. You know, this is my personal opinion on what I think the best bow hunting quiver is. I was a little bit hesitant at first just because of the price of the tight spot quivers, but after I made the leap and finally purchased one, I think probably two, maybe three years ago, uh, there's no way that I'm gonna go back to anything that I've used previously. The one that I am running is the five arrow quiver made by tight spot. And just like it sounds, the company name Tight Spot is truly what it is. It's a tight setup of a quiver. Uh, you can see here how flat it runs against the bow itself. Uh, it just keeps everything real compact. And some quivers, you know, they might stick out here a few extra inches, which throws your, your balance off whenever you're shooting if you get more weight to one side. I run this side stabilizer, a bee stinger side stabilizer. And then this tight spot quiver does a really good job of kind of offsetting that and they kind of counterbalance each other and it just works really well for me. Tight spot makes these in three, five, and now a seven arrow quiver. Uh, this five arrow quiver that I'm running is only 9.9 .9 ounces, I believe it is. And everything is just very well made on it. Um, I'm a firm believer now of you get what you pay for. It might make a guy a little bit nervous spending that much on a quiver, but once you get your hands on one of these, once you get it on your bow and you start shooting with this, uh, you'll realize you know you truly do get what you pay for. Just super quiet, very well constructed, a lot of carbon fiber parts on here. Uh, very easy to take on and off. I always leave mine on. I never take it off when I get to the stand. Like I say, I have mine mounted up the way I need to with my side stabilizer, and this kind of stabilizes the other side. You can see here just a real nice, tight, compact design. Pretty simple, but yet very well thought out. And another thing that I wanted to point out is, I'll give you guys a close-up view here in just a second, but you can actually loosen these two screws right here, and this allows you to cant the quiver from forward or backward. So if you feel like you have more weight going towards the front, depending on what front stabilizer you're using, uh, you can cant this backwards to put some weight towards the rear, just however you need to fine tune this to, to set it up to your, your needs and your shooting style. But just a lot of flexibility, a lot of adjustability uh, to, to set this up and make you a better shot, make you more confident whenever that mature buck comes into bow range. This has a very easy on and off uh, cam lock lever system. You just pull this tab here and that kind of cam locks it on and off. So you just slide that down, lock it on there, and then I'll show you how sturdy this is. You know, you can pick up the entire bow just by the quiver itself. It's just very well made, very well thought out design. I'm going to throw a couple links down below so you guys can take a look at the tight spot quivers on Amazon. I'll go ahead and link the three, five, and seven arrow quivers down below. You guys take a look there, read about it, get your own opinions on it. If you're in the market for a new quiver, I would highly suggest you take a look at the tight spot quivers just because of the way that they are made. I think you will benefit from shooting with it on if you are the type that does not take your quiver off when you're hunting. It just gives you that extra adjustability to kind of balance the bow to your hand and make you a lot more comfortable whenever you are uh, bow hunting. So all these Allen heads, you can tighten or loosen them depending on what size arrow you're running. That allows you to just clamp down on the arrow as tight as you need to, and that prevents any arrows just falling out or running in there loosely whenever you're shooting. You want this thing to be as quiet as possible. Here's the cam design. You just simply raise this lever 
that loosens that, and you just slide it right off. And that bracket there is what you're left with. So hopefully you can see down there there's no foam inside of the broadhead protector on these tight spot quivers. It's a very high quality, I would say a kind of a hard plastic, and then it has notches in there for your broadheads to fit in so they fit in there stable and secure. I'm going to go ahead here and demonstrate a few shots with it mounted on the bow so you guys can see how quiet it is. Pretty quiet, pretty smooth. If you guys want to see anything else reviewed on my bow or just any general questions, make sure and comment down below. Let me know what that might be. Uh, here to help you guys out and willing to provide any input that I can. I do have plans to make more videos about my bow hunting setup and just deer hunting in general. So make sure and subscribe, like this video. Stay tuned for more to come. As always, happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys. Bye.